Foster out there with Pekovic, Love, and Rubio. On their feet at target center, Sixers up one. Love. Rolling in, and a whistle and a foul. The shot block and only one tenth of a second to go. They might, they might put more time on the clock. They might. Love. Doug Collins out to talk with Zach Zarba and register his protest to that call. Technical. Oh, I thought it was. Looked like Zach Zarba was trying to get Coach back into his box. T-Wolves are trying to rub off Kevin Love and get him an open shot. Kevin Love drove the basket. I think they called that on Iguodala. I that is really, correct, I Andre Iguodala. I didn't really see much on that. First, let's take a look at why Kevin Love went to the line, at least in the opinion of the official. Yeah, when you look at you know, Coach Collins and you see he's seething at the referees because you let the players decide the game at the end of the game especially. Right there, looks like Iggy has a lot of the basketball. That's just good help. Elton obviously got a clean block. That one there. Kevin Love, five of seven. He is their best free throw shooter at 83 and a half percent. And they do not add any time to the clock. But you never want to have a referee decide the game. And that's our Toyota turning point right there. The free throw disparity between the teams. Now, Back to my original point, yeah. the only field goal that counts here is a tip at the rim. It's got to be a lob to the rim and a tip. Uh -huh. That's it. Again, it's got to be a tip at the rim. Nothing else will count. They won't even look at a replay. Andre Iguodala to throw it in. It's got to be at the rim and Bad Young maybe tipping it. There it is. And then we'll do it. Doug Collins at midcourt as this game comes to an end. With the Sixers led throughout. don't have the benefit of instant replay like we do, but right here, it looks like Iggy has a lot of the basketball right there. All basketball. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I just don't agree with the call. 